if we could just turn this evening to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. I'm just going to read a couple of verses from, from this chapter. So Philippians 4 chapter, chapter, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and long for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. And verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. And finally, verse 19, what my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank God for his word. I'm going to speak just for, just for a short time before the time of prayer, maybe just for 10 minutes, on the subject of thanksgiving. And we see that in verse 6 of this chapter. Be careful for nothing, or you it can also read, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. You know, as we come tonight to this time of prayer, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. We come to give the Lord thanks for so much that he's done for us. Even in this situation that we find ourselves, some of us were talking about when this when this had started, when the lockdown started, and we started into these Zoom prayer meetings, even, even since then, we have so much give, to give the Lord thanks for, so much to, to thank the Lord for, for what he's done for us, for the blessings, for his keeping hand upon us, for so many things to, to be really so thankful for. I'm just going to do a very quick acrostic on the word thanks, and the T is for together. And you know what? I thank God that we are still together. I thank God that God has brought us together. Although we're not physically together tonight, we're able to come together in this, in this Zoom meeting. We can see one another. We've got the opportunity to share with each other, and it's a, it's a tremendous blessing. And I know that we've always considered that a blessing right from the start, but I think it came home to me on the Lord's Day when there was problems, when Zoom had a problem and it looked like we were possibly not going to get into the meeting. Some people could get in and some people couldn't. Some people could hear, some people could only see. And it really showed me just how much, how thankful we, should, we are to see each other and to be together because it gave us a little taste of what things could have been like if there wasn't a, an opportunity for us to come together, to see one another and to be in this meeting together. And, you know, I just thank God that we are together tonight. We can see one another. And it's, a, it's, been, it's really been an, an encouragement um, for me, and I, I believe it is for yourselves also to, to see one another. You know, there's many different ways we could still we could still um, deliver the message. It could still go forth on on Facebook and on YouTube as it does. But I think there's something special about being together. Andrew leading the worship. We're all involved in the worship, and then we're all in the meeting together. We can all see each other, um, and we can see whoever's speaking. And I think that's a tremendous. A tremendous blessing and that has been something that you know I'm thankful for that as we've come into this even on, into this time of lockdown that we've been able to to meet together and see one another and you know even even just the 15 minutes before the meeting starts when you're in the meeting and people are joining the meeting and people are able to, to talk to one another and share and in some ways there's a limitation in, in the conversations because it can be quite difficult at times to, to hold conversations but we still hear much more than perhaps we normally would do um for instance if you were you arrived at the church you may speak to one person but now another 30 people are all in that conversation 
another 30 people all hear how that person's getting on and what's happening with that person. And I suppose that that does lead us to, to, to be mindful that sometimes we may ask something that the person might not want to answer in front of another 30 people. But we, we have that opportunity and we're hearing one another and we're sharing with one another and we're hearing about people's days and it's, a, it's been it's so good and I thank God for, for the opportunity that we have to be together and we see that in this in this uh, chapter. You know, Paul in verse 1 says, my, Therefore, my brethren, my dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown. Here we see how much Paul, how much the, the fellowship meant to Paul, how he loved them. And I thank God tonight that we have a beautiful fellowship. And I thank God that we can thank one another for our fellowship. Even, even during this lockdown, we thank God that we, we've been together and that God's brought us together from, from all different areas, you know, from, from East Kilbride and Glasgow, Adros and Salcoats, East uh, Kalern, Kilsyth, Kilmarnock, Irvine, Dun um, Dunoon, all different places, yet God has brought us together. And we have, I thank God that we are together. The second thing, moving on, is I thank God the ages for hearing. And we see that in verse 4. Uh, sorry, in verse 9. And Paul says, For those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me. And I thank God for what we've heard um, through the Zoom uh, meetings, for the, the word that the brothers bring, um, the word of God, that we're still hearing God's word, that God is still speaking to us in Zion that God is still encouraging us and blessing us. And I think we've had tremendous, I don't say it because I'm speaking tonight, but we've had tremendous blessings since we've come into the, this, this lockdown. And we've heard some wonderful messages. God has spoken to us about the situation. God has spoken to us, as we heard right at the start, about, about the, the situation, what's happening in the world. God has spoken to us, even in the Lord's Day, it was tremendous blessing to hear both Jack and Robert bring the word of God and, and lift our spirits. And as we heard about how we should be so thankful that we're free, that we're no longer under the law and God has done so much for us. And that's something to give thanks for tonight, to give thanks that we're hearing the word of God, to give thanks that we are actually, actually hearing it because we know that for some, they don't have the opportunity um, to, to be in the meetings. And uh, again, it really does is something to be thankful for, to be able to get in, as I said, you know, on Sunday morning, when we tried to get in, and some people were in and some people weren't in, you know, it's good to hear. It's good to hear God's word. It's good to hear God's word being brought from uh, whoever's bringing the message to know that God is still speaking and we're still hearing. That's something for us to really, to really thank the Lord for. And then the A is for always, and that's in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And I believe... It's in your heart as it's in mine that we have come to rejoice tonight and to give thanks for what the Lord has done. There are many disappointments. You know, it's a very negative time. You know, you, you watch the news and it's all very, very negative about the virus, about the R, the R number, about how many people are infected, about the sadness of all the people who have died and the, the terrible tragedy in care homes. There's so much sadness um, out there. You see that when people are and queuing up for things and different things. People are, are all rightly so keeping their distance. And there is just that feeling of negativity. You know, it, it's a very difficult time for some who have been isolating for, for a long time now. You know, that that you can't get to see other people is also a, is very, very difficult. You're missing people. You're missing contact with other folks. And on top of all of these things, there's, there's been other things in our fellowship we know there's been, like, our brother Tom has been ill. There's been other people who have been ill through these things. There's been, been a lot of things. But, you know, through all of that, I thank God that we can still rejoice. I thank God that through all of these situations, and many of us find ourselves in, in difficult situations, that we can still rejoice. We can still come to the meeting tonight to give the Lord thanks, to lift up our voices and to worship the Lord, because the Lord is, is, is worthy. He's worthy of all our praise and all of our worship. And that's why we've come tonight, to give the Lord thanks and to always thank him. Because despite, despite whatever may be happening in our lives, God is still good. God is good all the time. And we can say God has been good to us and that we can come tonight 
and give them thanks. And even in the midst of all the circumstances, we still have an opportunity to come and to thank the Lord. And, and we really thank the Lord for the, the end and the word thanks is for name. And that's found in, in verse 3. And, I, and it's found here, I entreat thee also, true yoke fellowship, help those women which labour with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with, and with my other fellow labourers whose names are in the book of life. I know we can thank God tonight that our names are written in the book of life. And that's something to, to thank the Lord for, that we have been chosen, that we have been saved, that our names are there, that God has loved us and God has saved us. You know, it's always nice, you know, some people, their big, their big desire is to see their name in lights. You know, for other people, they would love to see their name in the back of their favourite football team. If that's, if they had their name, if they could see their name there, that would be wonderful. But you know, our names are written in God's book. God wrote our names there. And we have so much to thank the Lord for tonight, that we have been chosen, that we have been saved, that the Lord loves us. And that's cause for us to thank him this night, to thank him that he loved us, and that Jesus went to the cross to save us. And tonight we are saved. And here we are in this meeting as children of God. Here we are tonight, each one of us. You know, we can look in the screen and we can see each, each of everybody's names up on the screen. Well, each one of our names are in that book of life tonight. And I thank, and that's something to thank the Lord for. Then the K is for kindness, and that's found in verse 10. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly. That now at this, the last, your care for me has flourished again. Paul could speak of the care that they had, the, the Philippine church had for him. I know I thank God for the kindness that even in this period when we haven't been able to be together, the kindness that has been shown one towards the other. You know, the love that's been shown, the cards, the gifts that's been sent, the messages on WhatsApp, all of these things show that we care. You know, as I say, even when we, we come on to the meeting, people welcome you in. It's like arriving at the church and 30 people are standing at the door to say hello, welcome in. So, you know, we... There's tremendous kindness. People are interested in asking, how are you? How is this? What's happening? There's been different things that have, that's been put forward for prayer. And again, we through the WhatsApp group, which we never had before this happened, very regularly something would happen to somebody and you wouldn't find out till you got to maybe the Wednesday meeting. It would be announced that somebody was ill and that would be the first you were hearing about it. But now we're seeing that we're reading these things as they happen. You know, we think of early on when our brother Alec was taken into the hospital. We knew right away, and we started to pray right away. I know by the Friday, by the by the time the meeting came round, thank God, our brother Alec was in the meeting, and we've seen that in many occasions. Things have been put on the group, and we know about them, and people are praying for them, and people are asking about how is this person getting on. As we come into the meeting, these are the things that people are are concerned about and asking. So we see the kindness and we see the love and that's something, again, to thank the Lord that God has put that in our hearts and that we have that one towards another. And then finally, the last one, the S is for, for the supply and that's in verse 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And truly we can thank the Lord that he has supplied all of our needs. Even in this time, we see God's goodness and God's hand upon us. And he has supplied whatever we need. We've come and we've prayed for many, many things. And we see God's answer. We see God's hand upon these things. And that's what we will do tonight. We'll come to this time of prayer. And we have the opportunity to thank the Lord. To thank the Lord for his goodness. To thank the Lord for his answers to prayer. For his love towards us. And we've also got a confidence that when we come to pray tonight, that the Lord supplies all that we need. The Lord knows what we need before we even bring it to him tonight. And that's a, a wonderful thing for each one of us as we have this opportunity to thank the Lord in prayer in a moment now, but also to, to come before him and to ask for those who are sick, for those who need a touch of healing, for, for different circumstances to know that the Lord supplies all of, all of our, everything we could ever ask for. You know, that, as I was preparing this message, I came across a story. It was of, of Helen Rosevier, and she was a missionary to Zaire. And in, one of the, in the mission, this woman was, was given birth, and she died in childbirth, and the baby was born premature. 
and she left behind a little girl and this premature baby and they tried to make an improvised incubator but all he had was a, a hot water bottle which which was was beyond use so it was a desperate situation so they gathered all the children around and they prayed and they, they said we need to pray so as if one little girl prayed lord send a hot water bottle it needs to come today if it comes tomorrow it will be too late and lord will you send a doll for the little for the big sister that she won't be lonely and that afternoon a parcel arrived from london and in that parcel was clothes and amongst the clothes was a hot water bottle and that little girl shouted if god sent the hot water bottle he surely sent the doll and sure enough there was the doll and five months before god had laid it in the hearts of a women's group to pack these clothes and a hot water bottle and a doll five months before it was needed to send all that way and here we see that god knows what we need god has the answers to the things that we don't even know we need yet on the way that's your god and that's why we have so much to thank him for tonight because we'll pray for things tonight that god has been preparing for us maybe five months ago and that just shows the care that god has for us how much god cares about each one of our individual circumstances and that's why we come this night to thank him for his goodness to thank him that he loves us to thank him that he's brought us together and that, to thank him that we've at this time of prayer so when we come to prayer as i say let's keep our prayers short let's keep our prayers short as we come to thank the lord what i've noticed when the prayers start off short then lots of people pray people who don't normally pray pray so let's keep our prayers you know at times friday night sometimes can be a prayer meeting when we really are, are looking at all the, the negative things about the situation in the world because we're praying for revival but let this let us come tonight to thank the lord for the, the good things that he's done to, to, to focus our thoughts on what the good things that god has done for us and as we come there's many things to pray for keep praying for 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 the woman for that woman pauline again that's something to thank god for as linda's been telling us of the, the, the tremendous improvement there we continue to pray for our brother tom and and as you have this opportunity tonight as we, we keep our prayers short we'll, we'll have an awful lot of time to pray everybody will get an opportunity to thank the lord and i'm sure that's what we want to do tonight to thank him for his goodness and to see that he supplies all of our needs because he loves us amen oh lord we, we come to you this night and we thank you we thank you that you are a good god we thank you just how much you love us how much you care for us lord even into the smallest details oh lord god as we've seen oh lord god over this period that we've been in lockdown there's been things that we've prayed for and we've needed them right away we've needed them that day and oh lord god you've supplied and you've answered so lord god we just come tonight to thank you for your tremendous love towards us that you loved us that you wrote our names in the book of life and oh lord god they'll never be removed oh lord we thank you you love us we thank you i thank you lord for everybody in the meeting tonight i thank you for everybody in our church tonight everybody who's joined these meetings even oh lord god through this this lockdown we've seen people in the meetings that we don't always can see it through the week in the church we've seen people who don't come to our church join them so we thank you oh lord god that even in these difficult times that you have still blessed us and you are blessing us so lord we just thank you as we come to prayer now that your name would be exalted that your name would be glorified amen <laughs>